All right, hey guys, so you wanna print something on the 3D printer. So before you can do that, you have to set up your slicing software so that the printer um, essentially is programmed or is ready to be um, used. Um, and so we're gonna go through and do that. So we're gonna set up and you can download the program Kira um, and set it up. And so you have the profile for the machine already set up um, and just go to Google and type in Kira and you want to download the version that's appropriate for your computer. This is the first time I've run it on my computer, so we're going to walk through it and set it up. And hopefully, unless it doesn't work for me. Let's try and open. There it is. Um, it's a free program. Um, and this really just goes through, you take a model file that you can see here. And uh, it will go through and slice it and split the part into machine code so that the machine will make it. Let's see if it loads here. I was not expecting it to last this long. There it is. All right, so we have a custom. It's made by Ultimaker, but they allow it to be used on anything. And we have a Delta machine, but ours is not actually in there. Ours is produced by um, uh, Michigan Tech. And actually, we'll just go with custom. So we're going to call this, our printer is Hans. And then we get to go through and set up the actual settings for Kira. And uh, to figure out what those settings are, we have to go to appropedia.org. And then uh, our setup, uh, which was a site set up by Michigan Tech and their Open Sustainability Technology Lab. And uh, we're going to go through and set up the slicing software, which is going to be down here, Kira. Um, and it may be a li little different from what uh, they have here. And that's let me do that um, but we're going to go through and set it up so we have a build plate that is elliptical which is going to be a little bit different from here and our width will be uh, let's see uh, minimum width or excuse me maximum width is going to be 252 and our depth is also going to be uh, 252 and then our height Maximum height is going to be 250. So 25 centimeters by 25.2 centimeters by 25.2 centimeters. And we're going to make the machine zero, center zero. Uh, we're going to make sure heated bed is unchecked. And then we're going to leave everything else the same. So we're going to click finish. And the software should be ready to upload a part to. And I went through earlier and just downloaded a file from Thingiverse, which is a fidget spinner, even though I'm not very fond of them. And so when we pull this in, it's actually going to make the software automatically, or it's going to write the code automatically for it. We're going to use PLA. We're going to open file. And we're going to go to downloads. And the fidget spinner it has to be an STL file for it to work. <clears throat> and from there, it'll open up, and you can see that that's not going to work, but you can see it's already sliced. We're going to dismiss. And we need to actually rotate this file. So it's actually, if we click on it, you can click and rotate, because it has to be printed flat, um, or else it just takes a lot longer to do. And it's a big waste of filament. So we're going to rotate that 90 degrees, hopefully. And then it will sit flat, and it will actually re-slice it. So we'll automatically go through and re-slice how it's going to be done. Um, it's going to be a hollow infill. You can make it dense for ours because of how small it is and what it is. We're going to make it a dense infill. Um, and then we're going to enable support. It's going to be turned off. Bed adhesion is going to be turned off. We don't need that. And our quality, so how, how nice do we want the sides to look? Um, really high quality, as you can see, is 0.06. Normally, for the stuff we print, it can just be a low quality uh, of 0.15 and we've even gone up to 0.2 millimeters um, in layer height. And so once that's there, it says ready to save file. And we are going to go up and save project. Yep. And it's going to give us the information. And we're going to save. And we're going to hit fidget spinner and I'm going to save it to Dropbox. And that's it. It's all set to go. So uh, go ahead and set that up, and then we'll slice it, and we'll see what it looks like on the build platform.